Apple or Samsung? Biden or Trump? Cats or dogs? This list also includes M1 Finance or Robinhood app. Two different really cool investment apps that give you a great opportunity to buy and sell stocks, options, bonds and crypto. And while Robinhood pioneered no commission trading and focuses on the people who wants to take a full control of their investments, M1 Finance also offers no commission trading with a portfolio-based technology aided approach. So if you're still thinking about what platform to choose, this video is specifically for you. I spent at least two years testing all these platforms, trading on these platforms every day and can help you with this choice. I will go through the similarities and differences that these apps have and you will decide which one is better for you, which will help you to grow your portfolio and your wealth more effectively. And by the way, if you follow the link in the description, you can get at least one stock when you sign up for Robinhood or at least $10 from M1 Finance. Okay, here is what you should know about M1 Finance and Robinhood before deciding for yourself what to choose. This is a table with the features of both apps so we can compare them. As we can see from the table, both apps have free registration, no commission and no trade fees. The margin rates are lower than M1 Finance, so if you are margin traded, take it into account. On the other hand, Robinhood gives you more options to choose from. Here you will be able not only to trade stocks and ETFs, but also options and cryptocurrencies. Additionally, they provide customers with an in-app financial analysis features. M1 Finance doesn't offer mutual funds, options or cryptocurrencies investing options. And you can't be a day trading with your investments on M1 Finance either. You are limited to buying and selling assets during a single daily trade window for basic service and a two daily windows for M1 plus account. And now let's compare other things that are not included in this table. Let's start with the account minimum. Robinhood lets you open an account with zero dollars and they only offer a single type of account, a taxable non-retirement account. And this zero dollars minimum has contributed to Robinhood's runaway popularity among younger audience and millennials. It allows people to set things up and get a feel for the app without making any loss in monetary commitment. So keep your cup of coffee money, Robinhood just wants you to sign up. While Robinhood lets you open an account within literally zero dollars, M1 Finance wants you to put at least one hundred dollars in the account to start. Additionally, the account minimum on the retirement account is a $500. This higher entry level might be harmful for some customers who are looking just to start with an even less amount of money, but it can actually be nice for others as it urges for an early type of commitment. So let's move to our next step, which is fears. Fears? But you have, you have told us that there are no fears. It's a lie. Wait, 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 wait. Both apps will not charge you anything for asset management or commissions. They're completely, totally free of charge. But M1 Finance also offers a couple of premium services. M1 Borrow account, for example. You can get a line of credit or a loan against your securities. So you can borrow money, for example, for vacation, medical bill, car repair or something else entirely. But I don't recommend to do it. They offer you a portfolio lines of credit at the lowest interest rate available on the market. You can instantly borrow up to 35% of the value of your portfolio. And since the stocks in your portfolio serves as a collateral, interest rates are far, far lower than uh, unsecured loan. Another cool feature of M1 Finance is a kind of M1 spend account. So you can get a debit card or checking account that completely ties into your investment account. And one of the key advantages of using M1 Spend is the fact that your money is always available for investing. There is no three days ACH bank transfer. You simply move funds from M1 Spend to M1 Invest and you can invest the same day. I think that's cool. So while the basic spend account is free, there is a M1 Plus premium account which has annual fees. So M1 Plus give you a premium access to a second trend window plus a rate reduction on M1 Borrow and an interest-bearing checking account. 
So A1 Plus offers 1% cash back and 1% API on your balance for a membership fee of just $125 per year. It's important to know that this is a debit card, it's not a credit card. In the case of Robinhood, the only fees to know about are account transfers and wire transfer fee. If you decide to take your money somewhere other than Robinhood, they will charge you $75 to do so. It's a good way to ensure that people with small amounts don't transfer away. Additionally, you have to know that wire transfers cost fees. While you can make an ACH bank transfer for no charge, domestic wire transfers run $25 and international ones run $50. In case of Robinhood app, there is also a paid subscription called Robinhood Gold offered by Robinhood that gives you access to several different features. For example, the first one is access to margin, which of course requires a margin account. The second is larger instant bank deposit. The third uh, option is a professional research reports from Morning Morningstars. I use them several times. And the last cool feature that you can get for your money, it's a level two market data. You can see more information on bid ask prices. Now let's move to account types. What offers M1 Finance and what offer Robinhood? Here we have an obvious winner, M1 Finance. Right! One of the most significant advantages of using M1 Finance is the variety of accounts available. While Robinhood only offers cash and margin accounts, M1 Finance offers a lot. Individual brokerage accounts, joint brokerage accounts, traditional IRA, SEP IRA, trust accounts. M1 Finance also offers something called a rollover concierge service. This allows you to roll over existing 401k or IRA to fund your account. They help you to step by step with the entire process. Of course, of course, because they're getting your money. But don't blame Robinhood. They also have some really cool features. For example, they have a variety of order types, which M1 Finance doesn't offer. For example, market order. The order will be filled at the next best available price or limit order. The maximum you are willing to pay for a stock or the minimum you are willing to sell for. Or for example, stop loss order, very helpful feature. Buy when the set price is reached or sell when the set, set price is met. Or stop limit order, a specific limit order is triggered when a set price is met. And now let's move to other benefits and features that Robinhood and M1 Finance has. We will start with the M1 Finance. The most distinguished feature of M1 Finance is the famous Pi system. You can design your own portfolio, or if you are very, very lazy, <laughs> you can use one of the expert portfolios. You can also do both, and there are no limit how many pies you can have. And a custom pie can hold up to 100 different stocks and ETFs. You simply make your selections and decide what percentage of your portfolio you want going into each stock. For example, if you want to be a, let's say, a tech uh, heavy uh, investor, you could do the following. For example, 20% for Apple, 25% for Google, 30% uh, for Netflix, and 25% for Microsoft. And every time your cash balance is above $10, it will be invested across those four stocks. This is a more active approach to investing with M1 Finance. For passive investors, expert buys are more than enough for you. There is no guesswork about portfolio allocation. You simply let the experts do the work for you. These portfolios are built based on a generally accepted investing methodologies and principles. They're ideal for retirement investor, for example. You can simply select the year you plan uh, to retire and whether or not you want to be aggressive, moderate, or conservative investor. So M1 Finance does the rest and the portfolio allocations change over time thanks to automated rebalancing system. An automated rebalancing system is pretty simple. When you add money to your M1 Finance account, it will be spreading across your different stocks and ETF selection and based on your target allocations. However, of course, your allocations could change over the time. You may have, for example, started with this allocation, like 35% for Apple, 20% for Google, 30% for Netflix, and 15% for Microsoft. But for example, a week or months later, you 
you can find something like 27 for Apple, 31 for Google, 22 for Netflix, and 20 for Microsoft. This is because assets do different things at different times. Some moves up, other move down. So when M1 Finance invests your cash balance across your portfolio, they will automatically buy more of whatever you are underweight or low in. By doing this, they attempt to return your portfolio to the target allocation that is originally set by you. Another great feature of M1 Finance and Robinhood is the fractional shares. M1 Finance and Robinhood offer fractional shares of all assets on their platforms. So this means that you can purchase as little as once or ten thousands of share of these stocks. This allows you to build a well-balanced portfolio without a lot of money. It also allows for easier dividend reinvestment, as you don't need to wait until you have enough to purchase a whole share. So, for example, Amazon share costs $3,000 or Google share, let's say, $1,000. However, if you wanted, you could create a portfolio of 50% of Google share and 50% of Amazon with M1 Finance and invest just $100 you would end up with a fractional shares of both of these stocks. And one more cool feature that M1 Finance introduced several years ago, it's a portfolio level drip. Dividend investors love M1 Finance thanks to the portfolio level DRIP or Dividend Reinvestment Plan. As I'm sure you know already, reinvesting your dividends allows you to earn compound interest. That's crazy important. Here is how dividend investments works with M1 Finance. When a stock you own within one of your pies or portfolio pays a dividend, that money goes into your cash balance held within your brokerage account. And once that cash balance exceeds $10, that money is invested across all your portfolio based on your target allocation. So if you want to invest manually, you can turn off this automated $10 threshold. This is a little different than a traditional DRIP. And the way this is usually work is the dividends are invested back into the issuing stock, not across the entire portfolio. And finally, let's talk about unique and cool features of Robinhood. The thing that distinguishes this app from other is their unique Robinhood cash management system. So cash management is an online bank account with the higher than average API. This means that even if you have idle cash in your account, you'll be earning interest on it. And because Robinhood is not a bank, they have a partner with five program banks to offer this service. Your money will be FDIC insured up to $1,025,000, that is five times more than you typically get from any banks. And the high FDIC coverage is due to your money being spread across five different banks and each offered 250,000 in FDIC insurance. So Robinhood does state that they cannot guarantee your money will be evenly spread across the five banks, so you might not be able to take advantage of the full 1,500,000 coverage at all times, but anyway, they offer really cool insurance for all money invested with the Robinhood. And also, every Robinhood account comes with a custom debit card that you can use to easily spend money from your account, like the same in case of M1 Finance. Another benefit to keeping money in Robinhood cash management account is the ability to quickly move it uh, to your investment account. An ACH transfer from outside bank account could take up to five days. So if you want the flexibility, if you want uh, the flexible to jump into the promising investments, it might be a good idea to keep some cash sitting on the sidelines. Another cool feature that I really like uh, and I'm using in Robinhood is the research reports. So if you're interested in getting some good data or statistics right within your trading app, Robinhood can give you, in case of gold plan of course, access to professional reports from Morningstars. And Morningstar is an independent investment research company with a dedicated team of investment professionals, researching companies and their stocks. And Morningstar publishes their findings and analysis in an easily uh, digestible format for investors at all, of all expert levels. So Robinhood has partnered with the Morningstar to provide Robinhood Gold members unlimited access to their premium, in-depth stock research reports. 
and these reports are available on uh, 1,700 stocks and are updated frequently to reflect the important company events. And each report covers professional analysis and ratings on the company's business strategy, economic mode, fair market value, risk and leadership. You can read these reports to learn what professionals, real professionals, experts, analysts think about a company's outlook and make more informed uh, and not intuitive decisions. So now, when you know about the best features and differences of both apps, it's a time to make a summary. Why you should choose M1 Finance? It's a great platform to get your feet wet in investing. People that want to learn how to invest without diving into the complex analysis of individual stocks or ETFs may want to consider M1 Finance. That's a really cool option. M1 Finance offers pre-built portfolios constructed by experts and also allows you to build your own portfolios when you are ready. Fractional share investing enables you to buy positions in any eligible investment, regardless of the share price too. If you're investing for the long term, M1 Finance can help you reduce the amount of time you have to spend for investing. The scheduled purchases tool, for example, and dynamic rebalancing can put your investing on an autopilot, although you should always, of course, monitor your investments. And these tools result in new investments buying your underweight position to bring your portfolio in line with your overall goal and your expectations. So I think that without this technology, you'd have to decide which position to buy with every new purchase. So that's my answer, that's my summary why you have to use M1 Finance. And what about Robinhood, my summary? So it's a great platform to get started in trading. And if a picking individual investments and following them closely to maximize return is your goal, Robinhood may be better. So Robinhood platform focuses on the making trading accessible to all with their non-commission trades other than regularly fees and easy to understand platforms. For those uh, who want to invest in more complex investment, no commissions cryptocurrency trading is also available. This feature isn't found on most investing platforms, so Robinhood could be a good fit if uh, this is what you want to invest in. While many investing platforms provide options trading, M1 Finance doesn't. So if you want to learn how to start investing with options, Robinhood is the best app for you. Thank you for watching this video. I tried to explain everything. I tried to find all similarities and uh, differences between these really cool platforms. So I hope now you can make a more well-educated decision. Thank you for watching and peace out, guys.